What's up, Eat Move Rest fam? Erin here, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful, glorious, sunshiny day here in South Florida, and I am here for it. So today, I thought it would be fun to take you through a day in the life, because I know those are everybody's favorites, but to get a little bit more specific, I'm gonna be sharing with you five of my daily healthy habits and rituals and practices that I never skip. What's up, Eat, Move, Rest fam? I'm gonna be sharing with you five of my daily healthy habits and rituals and practices that I never skip. Some of these might seem kind of like, duh, but once I dive into them, I'm hoping you'll pick up on some tips and tidbits that can help you in your own day-to-day -day life. So these are specific to how I take care of my 30-something skin as a mom of two who is crazy busy running two businesses, working from home, trying to navigate homeschooling and stay healthy and take care of my mind, body, and soul. So let's dive right into it. Number one is skincare. So like I said, being a busy mom of two, not every day's skincare ritual is as elaborate or as extensive as I would like for it to be, but there are certain products that I don't go a day without, certain things that I do to take care of my skin no matter what. I'm gonna share with you my go-tos that I use every day without fail, and then some of the ones that I like to treat myself with. So besides products, if you didn't already pick up on the fact that I'm drinking water already this morning, that is my first skincare hack. 32 ounces of fresh, filtered, pH balanced, structured alkaline water first thing in the morning. I'll link our water details below. We did a video on it. Hydration is the most important thing that I do for my skin as well as my organs. It just gets everything rearing and ready and revved up for the day and prepared for digestion. So let's get into the skincare. So the first product that I am obsessed with is the Osea Ocean Cleanser and it's pH balanced and it delivers a mineral rich hydration. So it really helps with complexion. I really love it because it's a gentle cleanser. It's not gonna strip your skin. And I do have a quartz roller and a gua sha, all the tools. I've got a red light wand I can show you guys, but honestly, I use my fingertips for a facial massage to rejuvenate and invigorate and stimulate those cells. And it really does the trick, honestly, just a little firm pressure. I tend to really focus on the 11s, these frown lines and massage right there around the eye sockets like this. And then I'll go in like this under eye to get rid of the puffiness and bags that sometimes occur, especially after a long night of sleep. And then I kind of massage my nose, clearing out the, the nasal passageways. And then I'll go into the lips like this, plumping the lips, just kind of training that area. And then my cheekbones, I do like this. It feels so good. Mm, I love facial massage. So the ocean cleanser really helps me. And then I'll do the under the chin like this. The ocean cleanser just really helps to make it kind of like more slippery so you can do this with ease. And then I just feel like it really helps to give your face a little bit more structure that way. And like I said, just get rid of some of the stagnation and give things more of a rejuvenated lift. So. You can also kind of massage in an upward motion like this. Yeah, and then I rinse. And you don't wanna to go too hot with your water because then it can dry your skin and make it flaky and it zaps your skin of its moisture. So just kind of a gentle, warm rinse. I just feel like that 
totally helps to like clear my sinuses, awaken my skin, give it a plump little glow. Try it, like I said, starting like this with the frowns, going around the eye sockets next, then under eye, then massaging your cheekbones here, and then lips, and then jawline, and then kind of ending with brushing upwards. Next up is the Osea Sea Minerals Mist. So the reason I love this is because it has aloe vera and mineral peptides to help restore your skin's mineral balance all day. This is such a refreshing start. I love to do this. You can also use this to set your makeup if you're using like a mineral powder makeup. I'll just do three sprays and I make sure it kind of gets my decollete as well. And then this has got to be one of my all time favorites. Next up, this is probably my most loved Osea product, the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. If there's one product that I gift to a friend or family member most frequently, it's this product. It is a gel-like consistency that's very cooling, very refreshing and hydrating. You can see right here what it looks like. It's a beautiful green color and it is again just the power of seaweed it's incredible so what i will do is i'll just dab a little bit on each area and then just kind of start to spread it in so once it's spread then you can start to press it in a little bit with serums, this is something I learned from one of my Eat and Rest fam followers. She said with a serum, it's best to press it in as opposed to rubbing it in. So first you kind of have to spread it on. And again, don't forget the decollete. That is one habit. <laughs> if I'm taking the time to do skincare, I extend it down to my neck and chest. So. You don't want to be one of those older ladies that has like a perfect face, but then it's like sunspots and wrinkles from there down. The awesome thing about hyaluronic acid is that it is a quick fix. So if you're looking for instant plumping and reduction of fine lines and wrinkles, hyaluronic acid, this product is your best bet. I can definitely vouch for it. It gives my skin a nice, plump, dewy glow. Next up is the Ocean Eyes Serum. Again, this is very, very similar in consistency to the Hyaluronic C Serum. It's so cooling, especially because there's this metal roller ball. So I'll get it started on my hand because sometimes it's hard to get it out. So I will go ahead and apply it to my under eye area, just a few rolls and also, it's great for the backs of your hands because that's another place that, as women especially, we show signs of early aging. So, I kind of spread it in with my ring finger. Our ring finger is the most delicate, so that's the one we're supposed to use for this delicate under eye area. And just kind of blot it and dab it in. This is, again, like the Hyaluronic C Serum. It's going to just accelerate that plumping effect and get rid of those crow's feet, or let's not call them crow's feet, let's call them what they really are, smile lines, because we're happy and we smile a lot. <laughs> this is my final product that I use for my morning skincare routine. This is the Atmospheric Protection Cream. This is my moisturizer of choice. I love it because it's very sheer and it's not super greasy or oily, so it's not gonna pick up bacteria and grime as you go throughout your day. And like it says, it's a protection cream. So it serves as a moisturizing barrier from all of the earth's. This one's almost gone. It's protecting your skin with a sheer layer of moisture from all of the toxins that are floating in the air. Maybe you accidentally touch your face, which is a big no-no. One of my skincare tips is to try my best to not touch or pick, but I will confess I am kind of a picker when I get into like an anxious spell or I'm sitting at my computer thinking I can fall victim to picking. So try your best not to pick, but this truly, truly does help. This is like the best moisturizer because I'm always looking for something during the day that like I said, is a little bit more sheer and not oily and greasy. And this goes great under makeup, which is my next step. 
but that's pretty much where I end it. I love Osea because they're a small, family-owned, female-owned business. Everything is vegan and cruelty-free and super, super clean plant-based ingredients with an emphasis on seaweed ingredients. Osea actually stands for ocean, sun, earth, atmosphere, and they balance all of these elements so nicely into their products. I seriously love Osea. You guys can check out everything linked below along with a special discount code just for the Eat, Move, Rest fam. And they do have a President's Day sale going on right now only through the 20th, so a couple more days. So when you purchase $125 plus in Osea product, you can actually get a free salts of the earth body scrub. I love to use this in the shower as an all over body scrub, but it can also be great if you have like dry chapped hands and you wanna wash your hands with it at the sink. It's so luxurious. This one is a real treat. So definitely check out that deal. It's amazing. You do not wanna pass it up and you can always use my discount code as well. All right, let's jump into breakfast smoothies so this is my number two daily ritual or habit or practice that i never skip the main reason why i live by a smoothie a day is because they truly do keep the doctor away more importantly they taste amazing but i love that you can pack in so much nutrition that you're basically drinking a multivitamin and or a salad in a glass. It's a great way to hide extra nutrition in a delicious fruity smoothie. So my go-tos are always kale and collard greens and celery, things that I normally wouldn't be cramming into my breakfast to give me extra nutrition and extra energy. Piggybacking off of my first healthy habit, it's also fantastic for your skin. I feel like my skin is glowier than it's ever been. So smoothies are a great way to follow up your morning water hydration fix. Smoothies are pre-digested in a sense. They're pre-chewed food. So it's a nice transition from water into food because it's very easily digested and absorbed. So smoothies, again, for the win. There's so many reasons why I don't go a day without a smoothie. One more thing I want to say is that I have never in my life drank coffee and I'm currently not doing any caffeine. I've been alcohol free for five years. Smoothies really do it, you guys. So if you're trying to kick the caffeine habit or the coffee drinking or minimize, I highly recommend starting your day with a green smoothie instead. It's going to give you a stable energy rather than an extreme high followed by an extreme crash. They're also great for digestion. I could keep going on and on. Now that I am getting energized and fueled for the day, I'm going to get into ritual numero tres. My number three ritual or habit or daily practice that I never miss is a sweat session or some form of movement. Even on rest days, that doesn't mean that I'm plopped on the couch in front of the TV all day. On my rest days, I usually try to go for a long walk with the family or vacuum the house or mow the lawn or maybe do some stretching or some quick yoga moves, some form of movement, even just going out in the garage and doing some rebounding to get the blood flowing. Or for example, when we spend a Sunday at the beach and it's my rest day, we're still super active, playing in the water. This can really be beneficial, not just for your metabolism, but also for your mood. If you're seeing a trend here, all of these things are important, not just for physical, but mental, spiritual, and emotional health as well. So something that keeps me on point is to change up my workouts and change up my scenery, change up the tools and equipment that I'm using. So some days I do dumbbells, Someday I'll also bring in some resistance bands. Some days I'll go for a long run or do my stationary bike. Most of the time I'm in the garage gym where we have most of our equipment, but I do make an effort to get the yoga mat out and bring dumbbells outside at different areas around our house. Changing all of that up can really help you to stay consistent and to reap maximum benefits to kind of keep your body and mind guessing and continue to grow instead of plateau. So we were fresh out of produce and I did a little midweek grocery haul at Publix. It's only like five minutes away. They do have quite a bit of organic produce. Not a single day goes by that I'm not eating some form of 
fruit or veggie in its raw natural form. I cannot live without fresh foods. If smoothies aren't your thing, at least be incorporating as many fresh foods as you can throughout your day along with your cooked foods. So I'm gonna make a quick little fruit snack and get out to number four, which is sunshine and time in nature. So especially living here in Florida, that is one of the biggest reasons we appreciate this place, this state, is that we are able to get outside and get adequate sunshine year round. It is so important, so crucial for vitamin D hormone production, happiness, well-being, and just a healthy glow. We're so blessed and so lucky and grateful to have the beach nearby. We try to get to the beach once or twice a week, even our own backyard. Dusty has been landscaping to create an oasis, a little escape. Sunshine is also super important for the kiddos, getting outside, doing something active and creative. If we were to have the TV on, the kids would be glued to it, but the one thing that always pulls them away is if we ask, do you guys wanna go outside and do something outside? They always jump up in a heartbeat and they are ready to go, especially if you feel like your kiddo is acting up or getting a little bit feisty. Some grounding, AKA going barefoot outside in the grass can really do wonders. Just connecting with nature can do so much for your mental health. I've been like a Jay Shetty podcast junkie lately since the new year started. And something that I always remember that he said that makes perfect sense and it's just simple and little, but it makes a world of difference is every hour, take five minutes to do the three W's. Walk, water, and window. Go for a walk, get a drink of water, and if you can't get outside, at least go to a window so you can get some sunlight that way, like if you're working at an office, but walk, water, window, every hour for five minutes at a time. Tell us what you're doing. Me? Yeah. I just got done with the cold plunge, now warming up in the sun, but it's kind of chilly today. It's not as warm. Warm in the sun though, warmer than it was in that water. So we are following our fruit snack with some superfood brownies. I haven't made these in a while. These are amazing for lactation, I might add, but they're fun for the whole family. Sweetened with dates. They've got cacao powder, flax, chia, oat flour, baking soda, baking powder, apple cider vinegar. They are so, so good. Well, you guys, the kids are fast asleep. I got in my quiet time, which brings me to my fifth and final daily ritual that I never miss, and that is my peace and quiet time. Sometimes it's spent tidying up and throwing laundry in or making a meal while the kids sleep. Sometimes it comes in the form of reading something spiritual or practicing mindfulness or just reading a book for leisure or visiting with Dusty or getting our own alone time. It comes in many forms, but I tend to lump it all in the category of rest, mindfulness, and spirituality because I feel like this is the category where I feel the most tapped in to my roots, to my truest self, and to my creator. It's super important to get those moments. They are few and far between as a parent, but even just five or 10, sometimes 15 minutes, are all it takes to totally recharge and reset and reframe my thinking. I've been anxious and busy and overwhelmed, and you know what? I feel super restored and peaceful. Even while creating a video, I still feel so refreshed. So feeling good about going back in to possibly screaming or crying kiddos waking up, and I'm okay now. So I think it's really important to always get in these moments, like I said, and to be mindful that your mental health is of utmost importance. It takes fitness, it takes time to exercise your brain, train your mind, detoxify your stinking thinking, just like your body. So don't neglect your emotional and mental health. You know, spirituality, faith, Christianity for me is super important and it's something that a lot of times I leave out and I say it goes without saying, but if it always goes without saying, then I'm never saying anything about it, but I truly am prayerful and spiritual all day, every day. From the minute I wake up, before I grab my phone, I'm saying my prayers and thanking my lucky stars for my lot in this life, offering up gratitude, and the same goes for throughout the day, whether the kids and Dusty leave for a drive and I'm saying a quick prayer for their safety, 
or they're taking a nap and I'm praying for peace or it's the end of the day and I'm thanking God for everything I accomplished and for a good night's sleep. Spirituality is so, so like, it's just ever present and sometimes I think that's why we just say it goes without saying but truly it is like the most important thing in my life and I've become increasingly closer to God this year. I am spending more time in scripture in spiritual readings and different texts and books by spiritual authors and Christian authors. So I find that to be helpful as well. Obviously not neglecting the Bible, but just finding other texts that can continue to inspire me and get me to interact with God on a daily, regular, frequent basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. What did we start with? Oh yeah, skincare and hydration, smoothies and superfoods, and then sweat or movement, and then sunshine and nature, and finally spirituality and connection. Connection with self, connection with the family, connection with God, our creator. And on that note, something we are always doing is connecting over a good, hearty, warmed, plant-based meal. Tonight we're going to be having some minestrone, one of Dusty and the kids' favorites. Something else we want to start doing besides just eating together is having little family game nights and like discussions about, you know, big life questions. So I've got a fun little card set that have like conversation starters on them and I think we might do that. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It truly helps our channel and means the world to us. And leave us some love in the comments below. Follow us daily at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik, and at Eat Move Rest on Instagram. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys, peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 